Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and today I'm going to review the 11 episodes of Far Vector Spinal Fury, Next Theory Manor, and I am also going to compare it with Ichiryu Senda Ryu Soldier. Now, um, this episode starts with uh, Amelia's grandfather, Pop Pop, uh, going into uh, this uh, house called uh, McClary Manor. And then uh, he heard the voices inside the house, and, and well, um, because uh, uh, that he's superstitious, he thinks it was a ghost and left. Now, um, at bus blast, well, uh, I guess uh, Emilia and Javi were uh, filming uh, Jane uh, promoting a, a product. Now, eventually, Pop Up came and, uh, well, um, he told Amelia about uh, the ghost, and, well, Amelia was excited and she wanted to go there, but Pop Up forbade her because, well, he said it was too dangerous. And eventually, they noticed, uh, once Pop Up left uh, to, uh, Fix the air conditioning, uh, which what he came to Buses for. Well, um, I mean, I noticed that um, Pop Up uh, left uh, the key to McClary Manor. And uh, despite uh, her grandfather's warning, she decided to go. And that's because, well, she wanted to prove to everybody that could exist, especially all. And then, uh, Emilia arrived at the manor, and uh, well, eventually uh, she saw what uh, scared her uh, pop up, but it wasn't a ghost, it was a spirit speak called uh, Doomdress. Now, uh, and real soja, Doomdress was called the uh, Mummy Minotaur, and well, uh, it was created by uh, this woman who is uh, who was the Prime Minister of Japan. And well, um, there's been rumors about her uh, being seen with some old guy. And then, well, uh, the real Sujo, well, I think it was a uh, yeah, Samba who, uh, oh, you know, I remember, mean, yes, uh, the Prime Minister, she, was, she went to a hospital. And well, uh, yes, the real Sujo. When uh, there to find what's going on, and well, uh, the woman wasn't there for herself. You see, uh, the reason is because well, um, she was the wife of this old guy, and the reason uh, they were married is because well, uh, they got married uh, decades before. You see, uh, and real Suja, she. Uh, the people of the Ryuso tribe live longer and age slower than regular human beings. And of course, uh, the guy married uh, the woman, probably back when he was in his uh, either 20s or 30s, but you know, because of the woman's uh, long life, then uh, she still looks uh, the way she did, the guy married her, but, uh, and the guy, well, eventually he got old and aged, and eventually she would, uh, he would die, and, well, um, the woman was so sad, uh, became so sad that, well, it, it created a minotaur. And when uh, Bamba uh, and Dola, yes, came to visit her, well, uh, he told them to wait them uh, to let the minotaur grow, because well, the uh, bigger, uh, the strong bigger the a minotaur gets, then its creator will eventually uh, die, and um, she wants to die because um, she doesn't want to uh, spend uh, whatever time she has left morning because well, uh, if she was, uh, I mean. Uh, 
if you age rather you know the same uh, rate as the guy then it wouldn't be a uh, hard but she just you know since her people um have a long can live a uh, centuries then yeah anyway um back to Power Rangers well uh she called on uh, Amelia called on the Orange to help and well they fought and of course uh, well um Doomfist uh, is the um use a blast on Javi and he became a uh, he became overly emotional. Like uh became sad uh, he's still crying. And then eventually they went to and eventually because of his addiction uh, he uh set out the rest of the fight and they went to eventually went to fight uh Doom Dress in a uh, another part of the city. And then uh, yeah, they morphed and then um when the uh eventually Doom Dress hit uh Amelia with her blast and uh, he became over angry, especially at Ali, you know, telling him that if he wasn't so skeptical about ghosts, then uh, they wouldn't be in the center end. Now, and, and real Suja, well, uh, the Minosaur's Blast doesn't make people, uh, doesn't ever flash their emotions, but it does make people tell the truth, even if it hurts other people. And uh Rio Suja when Asuna got blasted with uh well instead of uh, uh being uh, constantly angry at uh Melto, she was, you know, telling uh Melto everything she wanted to tell him. Um uh again went back to Power Rangers. Well um Eventually, uh, the effects of the blast wore off, and you know, both Javi and Amelia went back to normal. And then a pop up came, and um, well, um, well, Amelia told Papa about the uh, she told him that uh, she went to uh, McLeary Manor, and Papa was upset because, well, uh, she told her to go. And eventually they got into an argument, and then uh, you know they had a uh, way to uh, to uh, cool down. And but uh, when Papa left to fix the air conditioning, the Rangers came and uh, oh yes, also Papa mentioned that she forgot the key to the manor. But uh, anyway, uh, Harvey well he came back and pointed out that. Uh, he found the keys at the manor, and well, um, he wanted. And so, eventually, uh, Amelia decided to uh, go to the manor to pick the keys and find a way to uh, give it to him without revealing herself as a ranger. And eventually, well, pop up was at the um, at the manor, and she couldn't find the keys, but uh, she found something else. And then uh, Amelia came. In her as a big ranger, you know, in her costume, and she even keeping her voice, you know, so she wouldn't be so probably wouldn't recognize her. And then, uh, well, uh, she told pop up that uh, she found the keys and she gave, uh, oh, yes, uh, Amelia, the uh, the big ranger, as a uh, uh, the device which sounds to be a booski. Of course, I call it a real soul because that's what it was called then real suja. Now um and also well um Papa told the Pink Ranger about his uh, he mentioned the argument he had with Amelia and well he said that um the reason she was so overprotective was that well um he promised that uh no matter what happens that uh he always uh they could care of her. And the thing is that it turns out that when Amelia was very little, 
her parents mysteriously disappeared. And well, that's only why he got interested in the paranormal. Now eventually they went to the um I think the other patients went back to fight uh, a doom bridge. And of course, um, I mean, the, yes, um, yeah, the patients were already morphed. And then uh, doom bridge uses blast on Ollie and um, Sado. And it caused, well, um, Ollie to be uh, super friendly and the thing will become super lazy. And then, uh, and then, uh, yes, eventually, uh, Doom Dress became gigantic, and then eventually came a new sword, which was called the, uh, the Mitru, the Blazing Demetro Sword, or something like that. And Rio Suja, uh, he was called, uh, Kino Volcano. And when I first saw that scene and Power Rangers, I was like, Kino Volcano. And well, uh, here's the thing in Real Suja. Well, uh, when he was first introduced in an episode where, um, well, first the thing in Real Suja, um, he was a uh, non, he would tell uh, somebody riddles, and if anybody, uh, Hits a run, he would uh, say fool and free fire at them. Also, in the episode where he was actually introduced, he was befriending uh, this kid who was in the hospital, and well, he was abusing the kids with riddles, and the kid would get them right. Now, back to Power Rangers. Well, I'm gonna use the boost key to uh, define the direct sword and the divider sword to make the lazy mega sword and real suja so they were um, it was called the uh, Ryuzo Katai Kishiryo Kimi Volcano and then uh, well eventually um, they defeated the enemy the month the uh, in both shows they eventually they defeated the, uh, the enemy you know Doom Dress or Mummy Minus Sword. And that was the end of the battle for those episodes. Now, Bar Rangers, well, um, Amelia had a talk with uh, Papa, then, you know, she apologized for uh, for the way she talked to him, and I understand that he, in the kind of sense that um, she was trying, that he was in her best interest, and Eventually, uh, this got better. Of course, and then eventually, um, there was a problem with the air conditioner where it became, uh, well, uh, too windy, then it became too hot, and then eventually, it became freezing. And that was the end of the episode. As for Ryu Suja, well, that episode ended with uh, Astronaut um, telling uh, Melto everything she wanted to tell him, just to get it all over with. Let it, you have to let it all out. And yes, and that's what happened in the end of that episode. And that is my uh, review for the 11th episode of Firing Fan of Fury and its comparison with Kishiro Senda Ryu Soja. And also, uh, please subscribe to my channel because that will help me a lot. And also, um, please share this video on social media like Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. So, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.